Donald and Douglas are twins and had arrived from Scotland to help Sir Topham Hatt, but only one engine had been expected. The twins meant well, but did cause confusion. Sir Topham Hatt had given them numbers, Donald 9 and Douglas 10, but he was still planning to send one engine home. There was a brake van in the yard that had taken a dislike to Douglas. Things always went wrong when he had to take it out. His trains were late and he was blamed. Douglas began to worry. Donald, his twin, was angry. You're a muckle nuisance, said Donald. It's to leave you behind I be wanting. You can't, said the brake van. I'm essential. Ah, are you? Donald burst out. You're nothing but a screeching and a noise when all's said and done. Spite doggy, would you? Take that! Oh! Oh! cried the van. There's more coming should you misbehave. The van behaved better after that. Until one day, Donald had an accident. The rails were slippery. He couldn't stop in time. Donald wasn't hurt, but Sir Topham Hatt was most annoyed. He was so cross that he didn't see the signal telling him to stop. And he didn't see the goods train ahead until it was too late. Luckily, no one was hurt. Loaded cars run down the steep slope, pulling the empty ones up. Peter Sam duly waited at the bottom of the slope for the loaded cars. He never bumped cars unless they misbehaved. But the loaded cars couldn't see him properly. They thought he was Sir Handel. Their chance for trickery had come. Faster! Faster! They yelled. No, no! wailed the empty cars. It's Peter Sam! But it was no use. Hurrah! Hurrah! roared the cars. Peter Sam shut his eyes.